Today we're going to look at how to turn any object or type into a sticker using the Sticker It action. A special thank you goes out to Steph at the Daily Jiggy for the inspiration for these actions. Before you get started, you need to load your actions. Be sure to check out my PDF tutorial on doing that if you don't know how. Let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop. You can see I've already loaded the actions right here. The quickest way to do that in CS is to double click on the ATN file. It will automatically load it right into your actions palette. Here I have open a file. It's got my sticker it text layer right here and I've applied a style to it to give it a striped look. And we're going to change this phrase into a sticker. You can use any element um, or text or anything you want. It will change any layer into a sticker. We're going to try the first one. It's the plain version, so just click it and press play. Click continue through the initial message, and we'll get a little message here telling us about the next few screens we're going to see. The first is a smoothing amount, the second is the border, how thick the border of the sticker is going to be, and then another smoothing amount. Press continue. And I'm just going to accept the defaults, but you can change them if you want. Here for the border, I'm going to increase it to 24 pixels and press OK. And then I'm going to smooth it again. Next, we get a message telling us that we can choose the color of our sticker border on the next screen. Say continue. And here you can choose your foreground color, your background color, black, white, gray, or any color if you use the color picker. So I'm going to go in here, pick kind of a cream color. and press OK. Press OK again, and we'll see a border appear around our sticker. Then we'll be given a message about our shadow setting, so press Continue. And on the next screen, we will be able to um, change the angle of our shadow and change the depth here. The higher the numbers, the further away from the page your sticker will look. I'm going to accept the defaults and click OK. If you get this message, just press Don't Show It Again and click OK. That's it for the first sticker action. I'm going to show you the second sticker action, which is the textured version. So I'm going to delete those layers and turn back on my text layer. I'm going to click the Texture Action and press Play. We're going to see the same messages come up and we're just going to accept the defaults this time. Next, we'll come to the texture message. It just tells us that on the next screen, we're going to be able to select a texture. So click Continue. And here it brings up the Pattern Overlay interface. You can click right here on your Pattern Overlay, and you can select any overlay that you have loaded. When you do, you can also play here with your blending mode and your opacity to get just the right look you want for your sticker. When you're done, press OK. Next we can add a bevel and emboss. Um, suggest you keep this number pretty low. I'm going to use one pixel here. Just say OK. And the action's complete. We can zoom in and see the texture's been added to our sticker along with a slight bevel. The final action included is the lifted action and that will lift any of the stickers that you've made, the plain or the textured. Just make sure you have the sticker layer selected before you press play. Press continue through the message and we get a message that we can adjust the way the transform looks. When the action pauses you just go up to edit, transform, warp. And from here you'll be able to play with the amount of lift that your sticker has here. Or you can even return it to normal and lift a different side of it if you want. Press enter when you're done to apply. And then we're going to do the same thing with the shadow layer. Edit, transform, warp. We'll let you adjust that to match the transformations that you just made on the sticker layer. And when you're done, press enter. 
We're going to blur the shadow just a little bit more. And the action's complete. And that's all there is to the sticker at action. Thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for more Learn It tutorials from Studio Wendy. Coming soon.